Okay, hi everybody, how are we all doing? Nobody's in here yet, but welcome to a brand new project thing that uh, Briggs came up with. He messaged me about this a little while ago. Uh, so I'm just kind of chilling out here for a little bit while everybody arrives. And then eventually, I'm uh, going to do a call with uh, Briggs himself, with Ragnar slash Norman slash Briggs himself. And um, we'll see where this goes. See where this goes. In the meantime, feel free to theorize what it could be. Uh, say what it's going on. Is Briggs here? No, he's not here yet. Uh, he's getting things set up on his end. Uh, he's going to call me over Discord. Uh, you should be able to hear him. And uh, we'll just see how this goes from that point onward. Yeah. Uh, love a good mystery, yeah. Could it be me and Briggs are creating uh, the next Tenkaichi Budokai? Is this going to be a fighting tournament? Uh, are we traveling to the moon? Yeah, me and Briggs going to the moon. Uh, are we burrowing to the center of the earth together and discovering a race of mole people? I don't know. I honestly am a little bit skeptical on the exact nature of what this is going to be at all, period. So, all I know is I have a notepad. I have a notepad in front of me. So, that's a thing. Uh, yeah. Teching the movie is finally happening. Yes, the Teching 101 motion picture. The thing that I've never talked about once. That's my dream that's going to happen. Dude, I can't even imagine what the Teching 101 movie would be. I have no desire to make a movie. I remember back in, like, early YouTube, that was a thing. Like, Angry Video Game Nerd, he made a movie. Everyone's like, you should make a movie. I, I think it's because everybody has the idea that, like, the natural endpoint of most media is a movie. Like, if a book series gets really popular, make a movie. If a television series gets really popular, make a movie. If an anime gets really popular, make a movie. If a video game series gets really popular, make a movie. Um, I don't think that applies to YouTube videos. I rather, I don't think it should apply to YouTube videos. Now, don't get me wrong, like, if Mr. Beast is announcing that he will be coming out with his new movie, then I'll go check that out, probably. Uh, you know, but not every YouTuber needs a movie, you know? Hi, Tekking. Hi, Caleb. How are we doing? Yeah, but then they all just suck. Anyway, yeah, that's true. They do all end up sucking. I'm just saying that that's usually the end point for a lot of things. Um, Briggs equals Joey. I don't know. Uh, Smosh had a movie. Did Smosh have a movie? I don't even remember that. I remember Fred had a few movies on Nickelodeon. I remember John Cena was in those. Those were those were weird. Yeah. Uh Nux equals Kaiba. That that could be a thing, yeah. I could see Nux playing Kaiba. They should just do a Yu-Gi-Oh remake except all the characters are played by Nux. That'd be pretty funny. What's the new project? I'm waiting. I'm I'm just we're we're just getting set up here. We're just getting set up here. It was supposed to start at 3, but I decided to go live a little earlier. Um just to kind of like kind of set up the stage for everything. Uh, do you think Kinemon could make raid suits if you knew how to engineer them? Uh, no, because he's Kinemon. He's from... <laughs> oh, you mean because he has the clothing ability. I don't think it works quite like that. I, I don't think he could just... Because if that was the case, he could make armor, and he didn't even really make that much armor. He really just made, like, clothing, like, outfits. So there's clearly a, a limit to what he could do. Otherwise, he would probably make, like, really tough armor. And it seems to be a thing where if the armor... It, it probably wouldn't even be that effective because if the armor was damaged enough, it would just it, it would just poof off your body. You would just lose it. So it would be like he could probably maybe make something that looks like really badass samurai armor with, like, helmets and a chest plate, chain mail, shoulder guards, you know. He could probably make some really cool-looking samurai armor, but if, like, enough of it got attacked, the whole thing would just poof off of you. And then you would be like naked in the middle of a of a of a battle, so that's probably not good. Uh, maybe Kinemon just isn't very creative. That could be a thing too. I mean, honestly, yeah. Um, how was Red Robin? It was pretty good. It was pretty good. I still had some sweet potato fries that I just had a little while ago for lunch. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it a new D and D project? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I just used Ragnar in the thumbnail because that's the coolest. Like, I don't, I like, like, Briggs has an avatar, but, like, Ragnar's one is just the one that I had on standby, so I used that one. 
Uh, also, let's let's look at that thumbnail really quick, just because. Uh, well, actually, no, I'll, I'll show you this. This was the artwork that I used for my avatar. This was actually just done and sent to me by Chancel Chan, who was uh, the third place winner in the Eam Sama contest that me and Roger and Joy Boy uh, were part of, where Roger, you know, led it, and then Joy Boy and me were the um, were the uh, judges. So Chancel, really cool dude. He's been following me for a while. He actually made that for me and Roger. Uh, one for Roger, one for me. Sent that to me. And uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. He also made uh, this really cool... This is coming up in a video I'm probably going to do either tomorrow or Thursday. Probably try to get it done tomorrow. But coming up down the pipeline, I also have a video. I'm going to be talking about Tashigi tomorrow. So anybody that likes Tashigi, uh, this is the video coming up tomorrow. Tashigi family line. And uh, in addition to that... Hold on, let me just check something here. Yeah, And in addition to that... Uh, Chancel also made this really nice, uh, he even sent me the PSD for it, this really nice interpretation of how Zoro's parents and grandparents would look, because uh, they've only been shown in silhouette so far, but Chancel did a really good job with this, so I asked him if I could use this, and he sent me the PSD file, so go check his stuff out, uh, his links are all there, uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, uh, really skilled artist, so... Uh, we're going to be talking about that. I actually have some angles to go with the whole... I I'm going to try to finally nail down the whole Tashigi Kuina relationship. So that'll be a video I'm coming out with tomorrow. Uh, is it going to be about the 15 other people that left Wano? It, that is going to be discussed. Uh, yes, it, it's not the main focus of it. Uh, the main focus is more of Tashigi. But, um, yeah... What's my favorite desert? My favorite desert is probably the Sahara Desert. Uh, it's a pretty big desert. Now, my favorite dessert is probably uh, chocolate mousse. That stuff's pretty good. Uh, good day from Alabama. Well, howdy doing? <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah, once again, if you're just joining us, a uh, new project that me and Briggs uh, are going to be doing. Uh, Briggs is the one that actually messaged me about it last week. We've worked on it a little bit. I think everybody's really going to enjoy it. If, if you like some of the content that's been coming out on my channel recently, you'll probably enjoy it. Um, just waiting for Briggs right now to kind of get everything set up. We, we hit a little bit of a hiccup today because um, there's just, uh, well, you'll find out once we actually explain it. But there was one thing that was supposed to, like, everything's supposed to go okay. And then, of course, in the 11th hour, something happened where now we have to scramble to find an alternative because that's just how life works. You know, something will be working, you know, okay, we good on this day, we good now, we good now, and then the day of, it's like, nope, it's not working anymore. It's like, well, shit. So now we have to scramble a bit, but, you know, it'll be okay. It'll all work out. Do, 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 do. But we have a decent number of people in here right now. I think we have about 700 people in here right now. Not bad, not bad. I think I have the sound set up for when he calls me. You should be able to hear him. Uh, let me just double check that really quick. Do, 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 Yeah, that should be all right. Okay, cool. Hope it works out okay. I'm really pumped for it. I'm really excited. He told me about this idea last week, and uh, at first I wasn't sure if I would be able to do it, but after I talked to him a little bit and figuring out exactly how it would be laid out and structured, I'm like, yeah, I'm... I'm 100% down for this project. I think it's going to be fun. Uh, I will say we are not the first people on YouTube to do this. Uh, far from the first. Uh, it's something that other people have already done on YouTube. But it's still going to be pretty fun. So, just letting you know from that. Howdy from Cali! Live action release in August, right? I actually do not know. If it was announced that it's in August, then I guess it was in August. I actually haven't seen the live action Netflix schedule yet so what is the project i'm gonna wait for Briggs to show up and then we'll talk about it together you gotta build the mystery box ladies and gentlemen you don't just open the mystery box by the way oh god today so uh this is gonna be a really this is a boring conversation but i might as well throw it out there so uh i have uh these sconces okay you know what a sconce is like those it's like a thing you put on lights on the, it's like a glass lampshade you put on the wall 
right? Well, there's a room in my house that has six of these sconces, uh, but one of them broke before I even moved in. Like there was always, so there's like five sconces and one's just missing, just the light bulbs there. So I finally got around to finding the exact sconce and I ordered it and it came today and I opened the box and it was shattered into about 150 pieces. So that kind of pissed me off. So I have to return that. So that's a completely boring, very adult homeowner conversation. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you buy a sconce and it's shattered into a hundred pieces in the side of the box? <laughs> so that's that's my life. Briggs has the one piece. Yeah, you got it. Briggs uh, actually figured out what the one piece was. He was the one person Oda told. He was the one person Oda told on YouTube and Twitch because he knew Briggs would keep the secret. Oh boy, what the hell? I bet, I bet FedEx shipped it. I actually don't know who who shipped it. Um, it it came in a box, and I picked it up. And as soon as I picked it up, I could hear glass shattering, like like moving around. Like it hmm, sounds like a bunch of pieces of glass are you know rattling around in there. It was in styrofoam. It was sealed in styrofoam, but that didn't help very much. So good news is I can return that. <sighs> Got to take it. No, it's UPS. It was UPS, because I have to take it to a UPS store to return it and then uh, get it back. But, uh, yeah, that's that's the Teching 101 sconce adventure. Make sure to uh, follow me, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep you updated on as the sconces progress. Okay, Briggs, so where are you at, buddy? <laughs> uh, just getting everything. So I can only entertain the people with sconce stories as much as... Um, also, do you play BBS, uh, Bleach Brave Souls? No, I don't really play mobile games, honestly, all that much. I don't really play mobile games. I don't really play gotcha games. Um, which is weird that this announcement that me and Briggs are making is we're actually going to be doing uh, a gotcha game. We're going to be doing the One Piece D&D &D gotcha game. Uh, we're going behind Rustage's back here, by the way. Uh, did not talk to Rustage about this. Did not talk to Noble or Spooky about this at all. Didn't even talk to Keiru about it. And we're going to be using his artwork, so whatever. But uh, the One Piece D&D gotcha game. All right, no, 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 no. That's not, that's not, as if Rustage was here right now, he'd be like, don't tell them that. They'll believe you. I'm like. <laughs> uh. No, he's probably, honestly, Briggs is right now probably trying to, he, because the new, um, because what we were originally going to do didn't work. So he has to find a new way to make this work, and he probably hasn't. I, I looked into it a little bit, so I kind of know how it works, but I don't think he's ever used this particular app before, so he has to, like, learn how to use this app first. Uh, I hope we can still do it today. If not, we'll just bump it back to another day, and I'll just end the stream right now, and you guys will all be, what was it? But that's okay, though. That's okay. That builds more mystery. That builds more hype. You don't just dive into WrestleMania. You gotta have build-up to WrestleMania. And this is a guy th that I've never watched a single WrestleMania. So, I, I mean, like, there you go. And even I know this stuff, you know? Uh, GeoGuessr Extreme. Yeah, GeoGuessr Extreme. That's when we have a dude behind us with, like, a whip or a taser or, like, a, a cattle prod. And if we get it wrong, <laughs> we get, like, juiced or something. VTuber. Yeah, me and Briggs are both turning into VTubers. That's happening. D don't do this to us, Decking. Please don't do it to us. WrestleMania is right around the corner. See, I have no idea. Which WrestleMania is this? Like 37? I have no idea. No, I had no idea about wrestling. I don't know anything about wrestling. Why don't you have a check mark anymore? Oh, they take it away? I mean, at some point that was going to happen because YouTube and... I don't know if it's... It, wait, is it me or is it twi Twitter? Because Twitter always does weird shit. No, I still have it on Twitter. No, I still have it on YouTube too. I don't know what you're talking about. I still have my check marks. Might be a glitch on your end. Sometimes YouTube will glitch out like that. You'll just open it up. Sometimes I'll open up my YouTube manager and like all my videos will be like demonetized with these error messages like error 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 i'm like oh that's not good and like refresh it and it's fine yeah i'm on chapter 170 of vinland saga it's amazing it really is you check it out more yeah uh i'm in call 
Briggs is here. Okay, cool. Oh, did it not did it not show up on my freaking Oh, here we go. I'm a moron. Okay, it did not ring. Sorry about that. Okay. Am I just done? Alright, there you go, Briggs. Sorry about that. Yeah, you're good, you're good. I have I have a little bit of technical difficulties anyway. Oh, this is a great day. We should really just move this back, but you know what? <laughs> it's okay. It's time to Yu-Gi-Oh! It's time to Yu-Gi-Oh! I haven't told them what it is yet. I've just been hyping for the last 15 minutes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. We finally found That's... out what it is. Did I, I spoiled, I no, spoiled chat, I, I apologize. I was waiting for you to show up, and then we okay. can reveal it. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Well... <sighs> I I just learned the new site a little bit. I was taking some time yeah, to figure that out. That's what I figured it was about. Yeah. So, uh, go ahead. This is going to be. Okay, I just went live as well. So just give me twenty okay, more seconds, sure, and I'll go be ahead. good to go. Go ahead. Go ahead. Of course, it's Yu-Gi-Oh. We knew already, Matt. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, it's going to be Yu-Gi-Oh, but it's going to be Yu-Gi-Oh of a specific uh, variety. Yes, I like. Sorry, twenty more seconds. I'll be good. I'll do a little okay. intro for no, us. If you fine. want to talk, talk to your chat about it. Sure. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a our version of the progression series. Uh, at least up to the end of uh, maybe GX. We're thinking, uh, because I don't know anything about after that because I stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh at that point. But it's going to be fun. The problem and why it's taken so long for everything, why there were delays today, is we were going to do this over Dueling Book, which would be perfect. And uh, Dueling Book is down today. It's been down for, yeah. like, I think the last four hours. Of course Dueling Book was down. And then I had a scare because I thought Twitch was down. Yeah. It was, just me, it was just me being dumb. Yeah, well, no, you're <laughs> fine. It's just, maybe this is the day a cyber attack happens worldwide, and it's just the hideous <laughs> day to... <laughs> Have you ever watched Mr. Robot? Mm-mm. Oh, it's, uh... I have not. It gives you cyber uh, security scares for sure. Oh, geez. I avoid anything like that. I don't. I don't want to be terrified. Anyway, chat, let's just announce it. What is up, boys? Welcome back to another stream slash video. And today, me and Teching are starting our first progression series in Yu-Gi-Oh. I am super excited, man. Off to a great start, and I'm sure it's going to be wild. Today we're going to be uh, starting progression with the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh! booster pack. That's Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. You know, it's got the Pot of Greeds, the Monster Reborn, the Dark Holes. Uh, Exodia! One of us could pull Exodia. It's, it's true. It could happen. It could happen. <laughs> so we are starting off with no ban list. Uh, we're going to open up 24 packs and just have fun with the first week, and we'll figure it out as we we'll go. We'll figure it out I as we go. As we go along, we'll start adding some banned cards, some limited cards, and stuff like that. We're going to try to keep it chronological with how Yu-Gi-Oh! was introduced to us growing up. Mm -hmm. And uh, I even said to you that, like, I didn't know much about anything beyond 5Ds, so maybe we'll just stop at that point. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We're yeah. only stepping on episode one. Um, there are the fusions. Uh, the thing with that is I think we both agreed we're going to get, what, two polymerizations each? Yeah, we're just giving ourselves polymerization so we have more fun along the ways because it would just suck to not pull them and then just never have them yeah, ever. Yeah, because if, like, I pull a poly and you don't, then it's just like, yeah, I have fusions and you don't have them. It's just there And that is. means every time I pull a fusion seven weeks from now, it's like, well, the fusion doesn't matter. I, I think in LO, at Labyrinth of Nightmare, I think Fusion Gate is released, but that's a while away. So you would be locked mm. out for a while. Yeah. So that's the way we're doing it. Uh, we're going to go do the pack opener, each on our individual streams. And then we're going to use Dueling Nexus, because Dueling Book is, is down today. Um, um, I don't know if you saw the message I sent you over on Discord. I uh, sent it just, just oh, as you went live, which was good timing. Yes, yes. So I, I sent you the the card, the pack simulator. Oh, I think this I is the same one I'm already using. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's just, I recommend making yeah. an account. I already, have so one. You... I already have a premium account, dude. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. I planned good. ahead for this. Look at this dude. He's ready. Yeah. All right, I mean, so I think we just go to separate calls, or uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just, leave the... I'll end the call here, and then I'll open the pack opener on my end, and then uh, I guess we just message each other when we're ready on Discord, and then we go to it. Sounds good. See you okay. in a bit. See you in a bit, man. See ya. Good luck to you. Good luck. May the odds be forever in your favor, Briggs. Okay, so uh, now, if you're unfamiliar with how this works, uh, if you haven't seen CMO series, which I highly recommend... Uh, we're now going to go open individual packs of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. We're going to open 24 packs of Legend of Blue-Eyes White Dragon. Only duel with those cards. And then in another week, whenever we do the next episode, we'll open Metal Raiders, which is the second pack. And then Magic Ruler, which is the third. Keep adding to the card pool. Uh, and that's that's what progression is really all about. So 
Uh, first, we got to go to the pack opener, which I believe should be set up and ready to go here. No, of course. Nothing is set up. Of course. That's just how that goes. All right. So please work. Okay, that works. And uh, oh, wait a minute. No, not that. That's the wrong one. Uh, okay, hold up. Oh, this is a great, great setup for this. Oh, man, I have I had this all ready to go, and I still fuck it up. That's just my luck. Just my luck. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. <laughs> all right, I'm going to have to reset that. Hold, oh, my God, and I deleted the wrong thing. This is amazing. Fantastic setup. Fantastic setup. All right, here we go. Bam. There we go. All right, we got the pack opener set up. Ready to go. Pepsi Zero is really good. Hold on, I'm going to redo that a little bit. I had a whole cool background. I knew this was going to... I knew switching between the different frames was going to was gonna be an issue on my end. Of course, it always is. All right, there we go. All right. So, uh, Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon, we're doing sealed draft. 24 cards, or 24 packs, and then we make a deck out of that. So, let's just go ahead and open. All right, here we go. Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression! Uh, you should play on Forbidden Memories rules. Yeah, that's great. All right, we got to start opening these cards. We got 24 packs. Uh, the stuff we're going to be looking for. Uh, okay, so this is what we're working with. Not really about skill at this point. It's it's more about just blind luck because there's a lot of vanilla beatdown monsters in this deck. Two-pronged attack is one of the two trap cards in this. This is the shittier one. The better one is uh, Trap Hole. That's a super rare. If we get our hands on that, that'd be fantastic. Uh, but uh, for right now, I guess having one trap card is is something decent. Uh, but, okay, Reaper of the Cards is the only card that can destroy traps in this entire set, and it's horrible, and it's a one-star tribute, I mean, it's one-card tribute, so that's not great. Uh, another Reaper of the Cards, let's go! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen! Oh, but we got Skull Red Bird, which is good, because Skull Red Bird is the strongest four-star monster in the entire set. It's the strongest card we could just throw down. So that's actually good. I want to get a play set of those, definitely. Uh, remember, we have two polymerizations already, so we could summon, if I wanted to summon Cherubin the Fire Knight. Don't know why we would. But we have Follow Wind and Mountain. So Mountain, Follow Wind, Skull Red Bird is, is probably the closest thing to meta here. Also, we got Urabi, which is the second strongest monster at 1,500 attack. So we're doing good, I guess. Uh, Final Flame... That does, like, 600 points of damage. Trial of Nightmare, which is honestly just, like, the coolest card ever. We got that. So that's not too bad. Where's music? Uh, we're not up to music yet. This is episode one. Hane Hane, one of the two effect monsters. That's actually decent. It can just bounce a card back. Hitatsumi Giant's not that bad. And we got a second Skull Red Bird. That is good. That is good. Not the greatest pack in the world. I would really like to see some Raigekis, Dark Holes, Monster Reborns, Trap Holes. Uh, we also need some 2k Defenders. We don't have a single 2k Defender yet. We got Beaver Warrior, which is 1500, which I guess is something, but not great. Come on, we have to get something. Okay, Spirit of the Harp. Spirit of the Harp's good. Also, we got Steel Ogre Grotto 1. And that's important because we're going to need Metal Dragon. Metal Dragon is the second strongest fusion at 1850. Uh, so if we get Steel Ogre Grotto 1 and Lesser Dragon, we can fuse to make Metal Dragon, which is a rare, and it would be pretty good. I mean, the other fusion is Gaia the Dragon Champion, but that's a secret. And then the two pieces there are also a problem because they're also rares and super rares. I think I think Gaia the Fierce Knight's an ultra rare, actually. Uh, another Spirit of the Harp. Okay, and remove trap, which is uh, great because, okay, I guess that we could use that to remove traps. Uh, I guess that's the other monster. I, I was wrong about that. Arm Ninja, though, I think is the only card that can destroy spells. Um, I actually might put that in my deck if he might have a uh, Swords of Revealing Light. That, that might actually have to be doing that a game where teching has to be patient and think this should go well oh oh god it's not gonna go well aqua Midor, though that's another 2k defender all right so we got those guys uh, i think we're good on 2k defenders right now so now I, I really just want a good magic card can we get flower wolf's not bad flower wolf is is not as strong as metal dragon but flower wolf's okay and we got silver fang and i saw the dark world thorns in the other set so we can already fuse to make flower wolf that's easy uh, come on. Give me something good. Another Skull Red Bird. I think that gets our play set there. Another Hane Hane. I'm fine with that. We're a little over halfway through this set. I, I need something really good, though. I need, like, 
you know, something powerful. Metal Dragon! Good! Alright, alright. We got Metal Dragon. Metal Dragon is, uh, Dragon is phenomenal. 1850 attack. Uh, I don't know if we got Machine Conversion Factory, but if we got that, that'll also boost it up another 300 points, and we'll be able to hit over those 2k defenders, because those 2k defenders, we could really get into a stalemate pretty quickly if we don't have some type of removal there. Uh, if one of us doesn't get, like, a Dark Hole or a Raigeki, another Final Flame, and we got Machine Conversion Factory right there. Okay, if we have to do the Metal Dragon strat, I'll do that. Uh, is there a silver white dragon card? Maybe not. Uh, please play modern ish Yu Gi Oh instead of this boring format. Screw you. This is the best format in Yu Gi Oh. I will go on record with that. Uh, I hate modern Yu Gi Oh. I'm just not a fan. Uh, Reaper of the Cards. Another, we got a play set of Reaper of the Cards. I guess it has to go in. Another Spirit of the Harp. I think that's our play set of that. I think our fourth Skull Red Bird. This is, this is worrying me. We really need to get some good magic cards here. Monster Reborn, Dark Hole, Raigeki, Swords Revealing Light. Come on, we need something good here. We need something really good here. Come on. Another Final Flame. I mean, we, we can try Burn Strategy. We have three of them. Might as well just try to burn uh, Briggs out if we can manage. Uh, let's see. Come on. Another Spirit of the Harp. Uh, you ever played the Ace Attorney series? I have not. Oh, man. We only got a few cards. We only got a few packs left, guys. Come on. We need something really good to round us out here. Come on. Uh, Maneater Bug is not bad. And we got Lesser Dragon, which I just realized that might be our first Lesser Dragon to make Metal Dragon. So that's good. We can make Metal Dragon, and we can uh, we can have two Hane Hanes and one Maneater Bug. So it's like, all right. Not bad. It's a super rare, but it's not a magic card. Can we come on and get some magic cards? Another Aquamador. Not great. I think we only have three packs left. Um, we could attack the moon. That's a thing. Oh, congratulations. We got a dragon capture jar and a right arm of the forbidden one. <laughs> Yay. So now um, that could have been a freaking... Actually, no, I think Raigeki and Dark Hole, I think are super rares. That could have been any of those. Come on. We have two packs left. Give me something good. Oh, Fisher's not bad. I'll take a fish a Fisher. If that's the old if that's the first Fisher we got, I'll take it. It's removal. It's not even bad removal. It's pretty solid, actually. Alright, I think we got one pack left. Oh god. Can we get some last pack luck here? Can we get Dark Hole, Raigeki, Monster Reborn? I'll take any of those three. Please believe in the heart of the cards. And if we got a last, like a fifth Aquamador. Alright, um, I'll be honest with you guys, this is not a great opening. This was not a great opening. Uh, if he drew anything along the lines of Dark Hole, Raigeki, Monster Reborn, Swords Revealing Light, we're, we're going to be in trouble here. We're going to be in trouble. But we have some stuff to work with, so uh, I, I guess now we go to deck building. So now we're going to use... Um, I'm going to go back to the main screen really quick for this. Uh, we're going to use... Let me add this to my collection on dueling uh, pack opener, YGO pro deck open, whatever. And I think we can make a deck on here, but we're dueling on Yu-Gi-Oh! Nexus, so that's just what we're using. So I'm going to close this. All right, so now we're going over here. And this is the new website. Actually, let me ch let me just double-check one more time if dueling book is open, because I just want to double-check one more time before we really get over to this, and I don't think it is. It's not loading, so dueling book is, of course, down for today. It has to be the one time it is down. Um, ask Briggs if he got trash. No, that's not, that's not how we do this. We don't do that. Mm. Is it worth to open new one if Briggs got trash? I don't know, man. I don't know how we're going to do this. This is kind of just the, uh, the starting gun here. If Briggs, uh, Briggs sends me a message and he's like, hey, dude, I got trash. Let's just re, <laughs> let's just open them again. It is LOB. It's pretty bad. All right. So now let's try and see if this one will work better. Uh... Nope. <laughs> of course not. All right, hold on a second. Uh, Dueling Nexus. I think this would... Oh, I know! It actually did work okay. All right, here we go. All right, awesome. Sweet. So, this is Dueling Nexus. It looks pretty cool, except for the fact that it doesn't have... I lo what I loved about Dueling Book is it had a quick way to actually uh, sort every card by release. So you could actually sort it by set, so that way I could just have all the LOB cards in one specific area. Here I have to actually search each individual one, which kind of sucks, but whatever, it's not really that bad. And hopefully next episode when we do Metal Raiders, uh, or if we redo LOB or whatever we decide to do, next episode we will have be, uh, we'll be using Dueling Book. It'll be back up at that point. All right, so... 
Uh, which archetype would fit William? Oh, I don't know. The the old man slaying archetype. But now we got to start making a deck. So Skull Red Bird's definitely going in. Uh, now I have to double check to see which cards I actually have. So hold on. Let me pull up this off to the side here. This is going to be weird already. I need, a, I need an extra monitor. I need like three extra monitors to make this work. Okay, I need to look at my collection to see what cards I have. And then I can actually... You know, I know I got three Scar Red Birds. Okay. I got three Aqua Madors. There's three in my set there. So I could throw three Aqua Madors in my deck. We should just brick up. We should, we should just brick up as much as possible. All right. We got uh, Metal Dragon. We got Metal Dragon. So I could throw that in my uh, extra deck or rather my fusion deck because the extra deck technically doesn't exist yet. Uh, let's see here. Beat down decks make me happy. <laughs> make me feel young again. Yeah. Uh, we got three Beaver Warriors. Beaver Warrior's not bad. Uh, he has decent defense. I might not throw... I'm just going to throw them in here, and I'll, I'll sort them out as I go. Uh, I know we got... How many Urabis did we get? We got... Uh, how many Metal Dragons? We only got one Metal Dragon. We got one Urabi, but we got three Witty Phantoms. So, Witty Phantoms, not bad. Throw him in there. Um, we got Mountain, right? Uh, we got one copy of Mountain, so that's got to go in there for the power bonus. One copy of Mountain. We got Follow Wind. Uh, we got two copies of Machine Conversion Factory and three copies of Follow Wind. All right, so I got to throw all copies of Follow Wind in there. Follow Wind, Follow Wind, Follow Wind. Uh, how many Lesser Dragons did we get? Oh, Fisher, yes. Uh, just throw out cards that I got so I can throw them in there. Fisher, I think we only got one copy of Fisher, unfortunately. Yeah, we only got one copy, but we got we got three copies of Final Flame. So, I'll throw three copies. I'm gonna use the cool version of Final Flame, the one where the dude's actually burning on the cross, like ah! Um, this this deck's gonna brick harder than Blue Eyes. If Briggs drew a Blue Eyes and he could summon it, we're kind of fucked. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So. Uh, let's see. Now, uh, Lesser Dragon, we got two of them. That's not bad. So I'll throw Lesser Dragon, Lesser Dragon. So it's Lesser Dragon plus Steel Ogre Grotto 1. How many Steel Ogres did we get? We only got one Steel Ogre, so thank God we can at least summon... I gotta throw a Polymerization in there. Thank God we at least got that much. I'll throw the two Polys in there for right now. Uh, we did get Flower Wolf, too. I, I remember that. Flower Wolf's not bad. And uh, Flower Wolf goes down here. And then we also got... Um, okay, we got 25 cards in the main deck. We got 10 magic cards. Okay. Uh, we did get two-pronged attack. So, I mean, I'll throw it in there. Just because it's a trap card. It's not a great trap card. I'd have preferred trap hole. But that's all we got. Dude, if we, if we somehow manage to pull this off and win this... Like... This is gonna be... <laughs> uh, remove trap. Uh, we did get removed trap. Let's see here. Um, but I don't even know how useful it'll be. Select and destroy one face-up trap card in the field. That is useless because there are no continuous trap cards on the field. All that it could be is two-pronged attack, and that doesn't negate. It just destroys, so it'd be pointless to throw remove trap in there. Uh, Silver Fang, though. Silver Fang, we got two of, and that could make... Our Flower Wolf. Flower Wolf is Silver playing plus Dark World Thorns. Just wanted to double check that. God, this deck. I, I, you know, I did a lot of dry runs of this this past week, and let me tell you, pretty much every dry run I got better cards. Pretty much every single one. Uh, effect monsters. Okay, yeah, you want to see our effect monsters? Well, we got Armed Ninja. Yeah, and we got. Reaper of the Cards, which I'll throw in just for the yucks. Why not? Um, let's see. Okay, we have three follow-ins. We got this. Uh, this also increases defense. So I guess I could throw in Beast Warrior. Uh, we have a lot of Beast Warriors. We have a Fiend. We only have one Mountain here. Flower Wolf's a Beast. Metal Dragon. Oh, yeah. Machine Conversion Factory. Uh... Yeah, yeah. We got two of those, I think. We got Dragon Capture Jar. Hmm. Oh, Man Eater Honey, Honey, thank you. 
See, this is the problem. This is why I liked it. Um, this is why I preferred when we duel on Dueling Book, because that actually has... Oh, there's a lot of bugs in this game. Okay, we got two Hanai Hanais. We got... Okay, so we do have... We do have some removal. We do have some removal. We have some ways of getting rid of his powerful crap. Uh, Dragon Capture... Oh, yeah, I guess Dragon Capture Jar is another trap card in the set, but it's not that great. It doesn't even destroy dragons. It just forces them into defense mode, but... I guess, okay, I guess he could use Remove Trap on that, but there's no point in us having Remove Trap because, you know, we can't, we, we you know, what are we going to do? We don't have any dragons. A well, metal dragon's a metal. He's a machine. Um, Ash Blossom. Yeah, make sure to throw that Ash Blossom in your deck decking, sure. Uh, I think throwing Beast Fangs in might not be a bad idea because uh, we have Silver Fang, but we also have Flower Wolf in here. So if we summon Flower Wolf... And then use Beast Fangs. That could boost it. Also, Beasts are powered up by uh, Forest, correct? And I think we had a few Forests. We had one Forest. And I think Forest powers up Beasts. So that's that's good, I guess. And Plants. I guess they could also power up our Dark World Thorns. Uh, okay, I'm going to get rid of these Beavers. <laughs> and I'm going to throw in some Spirit of the Harps because we got like 30 of those. Now it's just kind of trying to even it out. Let me just check uh, Discord really quick. Uh, okay, he hasn't messaged me back yet. I don't know what this is. Yeah, the, somebody in the chat, if anybody's confused on what we're doing or how we're doing it, somebody just, somebody, go watch, just type in SEMO on YouTube and watch Progression Series and watch the first five minutes. It'll bring you up to speed. Because um, I have to, uh, I have to work at this now. Okay, I'm going to get rid of this beaver. Spirit of the Harp. We got like four Spirit of the Harps. Got a lot of Spirit of the Harps. We've got four of those damn things. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw in some Spirit of the Harps here. We're gonna brick up. Uh, let's see here. Sort. There we go. Oh boy, this is a crappy deck. This is a crappy deck. <laughs> this is not a good deck, ladies and gentlemen. This is not good. We have a Robbie, right? Did we not put a Robbie in our deck? We have one copy of a Robbie. Okay, that's that's fifteen hundred attack. At least that's something. Uh, Aqua Mador as well. Are you trying to get into modern Yu-Gi-Oh? God no. Crappy deck hype. This is what Yu-Gi-Oh was supposed to be right here. This is your grandparents' Yu-Gi-Oh. All right, what other fusion monsters did we get? Like anything good, at all? Um. I'm looking through just to see if there's anything else. Mystical Moon wouldn't be that great. I mean, we could throw in... Nah, I don't think that's point. There's no point to doing that. Uh, Legendary Sword is kind of pointless. Oh, boy. You will truly be the king of games if you win with this deck. The only thing I can hope for is the Hail Mary Pass that Briggs also got crappy cards. Um, I got Cherubin. Wow, the only fusions I got were Flower Wolf... Metal Dragon and Cherubin. I think Fusionist, but Fusionist sucks. Um, like, yeah. <laughs> this is a deck. This is a deck. I, not even a pot of greed. Didn't even get a pot of greed. Woo! <laughs> like, Skull Red is arch, is, is really good. Oh, man. Grandparents, this is the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh! your granddad played back in the war. The World War. The Yu-Gi-Oh! Wars. All right. We got three Skull Red Birds, three Witty Phantoms, three Aquamadors, two Spirit of the Harps, two Lesser Dragons, two Dark World Thorns, a Silver Fang, Reaper of the Cards, because pfft, why not? Uh, Maneater Bug, two Hanai Hanai, which is honestly the star of this entire freaking deck. One Fisher, which isn't bad. A two-pronged attack, which is technically removal, and some type-specific effects that could maybe bolster Metal Dragon and, and, and Flower Wolf once I get them out there. We got a mountain for the Skull Red Birds. We got forest for Flower Wolf. Got a dragon capture jar in case he got a blue eyes, trihorn dragon, something like that. Uh, Beaver Warrior. Uh, in terms of attack, Skull Red, Arabi, Witty Phantom. Uh, um. This is literally Aqua Mador beatdown, and I love it. I'll be honest with you. I mean, there's a lot of 2K defenders we could have gotten here. We could have gotten a giant soldier of stone. That would have been dope. 
I'm, I'm happy we got Aquamador, though. I'm kind of happy. He's the coolest one. He just looks cool. So we got Aquamador Breakdown. Beatdown. What was the website you opened the Yu-Gi-Oh! packs on? It was YGOProDeck.com. YGOProDeck.com. You have a third Hanai Hanai. Uh, do I? Let me check. I have the thing right here. If I do have a third Hanai Hanai, that's definitely going in. Actually, I think I do. Yeah, uh, no. No. It says on the deck opener I only have two. So I gotta go with that. Gotta go what it's telling me on my screen. I got one Fisher, two Hanai Hanai. Uh, and it's alphabetical too, so yeah. YGO instead of Master Duel, any reason? Uh, didn't want to use Master Duel. This is a website you could just access. You don't have to, like, open up. You don't have to download Master Duel and get everything set up. It's just a website you could just go on. Probably just easier. Save things to the profile. Yeah, save that. Error while loading. Not logged in. I logged into this! Come on, man! Come on, man! You gotta be kidding me! I logged in before this! Does it log you out? Oh, this is a wonderful, wonderful start to this. Do you ever get creative burnout? Eh, not really. Well, I guess we can't save. Is it just not going to let me save? Hold on. All right, hold up. Hold up. Let me take this off screen for a moment. Let me see if this works if I log in on another... I am logged in. What the hell? I'm a, I'm a hundred percent logged in on this website right now. Okay, now it's saved. All right, whatever. Okay, it's saved. It's saved. We're good. We're good. It's saved on my thing, so we're good. It's saved on lob, so we're fine. Okay. All right, we're good. All right. I haven't used YGO in forever. Yeah. Is uh is Dueling Book back up yet? <laughs> Just to double check, is uh is Dueling Book back up yet at all? Cause that would be lovely if it was. Doesn't look like it is. <laughs> Damn it. We playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Oh yeah. Uh, let's see here now. Uh, oh, you can host a duel on here, yeah. Custom, host duel. Yeah, okay. Well, um, let's go back to our deck really quick here. All right. Can you make a video on how YGO Pro Deck websites work to open packs which came out before Yu-Gi-Oh! 5? Just, just go on the website. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can figure it out. It's not hard. I'm sure there's another person on YouTube that shows you how to do it. I'm not really a tutorial guy. Uh... Oh, cool. Thanks, man. Yeah. Big Brocky. All right, I have a question for you. In competitive Yu-Gi-Oh!, how far would this deck get me? I'm thinking regionals. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking uh, this deck is is kind of... I'll, I'll message Briggs here. think I'm almost done just doing one last check on my deck. All right, I message Briggs. I mean, it's not a great deck. It's a horrible deck. You'd lose before the tournament even began. You walk in, and they're just like, okay, sir, can you show us your deck so we can sign you up? Yeah, and you lose. And you're done. <laughs> oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. I can't believe we didn't get anything. We didn't even get a single Raigeki. Single. I mean, like, like I said, I was opening a lot of packs here. Now, I'll probably lose this. I'm definitely going to lose this, but hold on. I'm going to throw some stuff. I'm actually going to throw some stuff in my side deck. Kind of pointless, but I can. Uh, I mean, might as well have the option, right? 
I'll throw in some beavers. You can never have too many beavers in your side deck. Can I throw... Is Beaver Warrior a limited, a semi-limited card? The hell? Oh, I already have one in my deck. That's why. Um, Let's see. What else can I throw in the side deck here? <laughs> you lost at that dumpster out back before the tournament even started. Oh, man. I need about 10 more minutes. Okay, Briggs needs another 10 minutes. That's fine. We'll... I'll take this opportunity to work on my deck as much as I can. Dark Energy. All right, so we got a lot of fiends in here. We got a few Dark Energy. I'll throw one in there. Uh, God, what is what is Reaper of the Cards? Reaper of the card, Cards is a fiend. So this could boost his defense, I guess. His defense would go over 2,000 if I managed to equip him with that. There's no generic equip spells that just, like, there's no Acts of Despairs, Megamorphs yet, like, nothing. It's only these very type-specific ones. He needs 10 more minutes, LOL. I'll throw Yami in my side. Yami's just nice. It's a nice all-round effect. Uh, maybe that's a sign Briggs has a bad deck. Oh, I, I can only hope that he, you know, got a deck that was, like... I, I like okay, if Briggs got the Blue Eyes White Dragon or Trihorn Dragon or Dark Magician, I feel like I can handle those. But if he got like Swords of Revealing Light, kind of game over. Uh, the only way to stop Swords of Revealing Light, by the way, if he throws down a Swords of Revealing Light, the only way that we could stop that is if we flipped up Arm Ninja. Not because I don't think Arm. I, I think when Swords activates, the flip effects don't go off. So I'd have to set this then flip it up, which would be impossible in its own right. But then I would be able to target one spell card and destroy it. That's the only way we could get rid of swords. You never put the dinosaur in. He's right here. Yurabi, right there. He's hanging out. He's he's chilling. Uh, what set did I pull from? We're just, we're starting at the very, very beginning. That means... Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon, nothing else. Uh, did I get anything else good here? Anything else that maybe might possibly do something? We have enough 2k defenders. I, I guess I'm happy with that. We got five 2k defenders in my deck. We got three Skull Red Birds. Um, Lesser Dragon. He's not that great, but whatever. Um... Machine conversion for Metal Dragon. We just hope that we can get Metal Dragon out really quick, pretty much. Got some final flames. We just burn the crap out of Briggs, I guess. Any tribute monsters? All the tribute monsters in this car in this entire set sucks. The only one that kind of is okay is Curse of Dragon at two thousand, but we didn't draw one of those. So, and uh, Curse of Dragon is really not nothing to write home about. Um. We got two mystical moons. Let me throw throw another mystical moon in my side deck. Or hell, maybe just a third one. Why not? I have it. Did you get the succubus lady? I did, but she's not that good. She's only 1650, which... Eh, I guess I could throw succubus. I'll throw succubus knight in the side deck, I guess. She's not great, but at this point, it's kind of relative, you know what I mean? Kind of relative, you know what I'm saying? What's that title mean? Uh, it means I'm going to change the title after we're done. Yeah, you can always beef up monsters with equips. Dude, that is literally the only strategy we got here. I'm thinking about actually throwing in... Oh, I don't have any... Um, uh, I don't think. Uh, I don't think there's any... Uh, spell books. Yeah, because Power of Kaishin powers up Aquas, but Aquamador is a spellcaster. We could throw in... We could throw in uh, Silver Bow and Arrow. That'll power up Spirit of the Harp a bit. We have three of those. Um, I'm, I'm moving Reaper of the Cards down here because he kind of sucks pretty bad. I'll throw in one Silver Bow and Arrow. Maybe I do. Do I want to leave Reaper in? No, Reaper's pointless. He's pointless to be in the deck anyway. Yeah, I, just, I put him in there honestly just because I think he looks cool. Reaper of the Reaper of the cards is pretty cool. Oh. 
How does the side deck work? I've only played Master Duel. Um, we're going to play a match, which is three duels. Uh, best two of three. So if I win the first one and Brings wins the second one, then we play three. But if he wins the first two, then he just wins. Uh, in between each duel, we get to side. So I get to take stuff out of my deck and throw stuff from my side deck into my deck. It's not much. We could try to bluff him. We could try to throw a bunch of shit in my side deck. I mean, in my... Uh... We could throw stuff in my fusion deck and make him look like, Oh, hey, check it out, Briggs. I got, I got a lot of stuff. Yeah, I'm ready to go. <laughs> Ask chat GPT to help you. Oh, Blue Eyes White Dragon, I wish I could add you to my deck so much, but I can't. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't even draw Dark Magician, man. God, that really pisses me off. We didn't even get Raigeki, Dark Hole, and that's for the rest of the freaking... This is gonna suck. Oh, this is gonna be rough. This is gonna be a rough start. Next set's Metal Raiders. Maybe we could get Mirror Force, Solomon Judgment. That'd be a good, good thing to pick up. But for right now, I think this is all we got. I think this is honestly the best we could do. <laughs> and now I go in the corner and cry. Hold on a moment. Let me double check something here. Oh, Ray's Body Heat. That's a good equip for Urabi, but we only got one of them, so I'll just throw one of the Ray's Body Heats in here. I don't want to throw too many equip spells. I think I might have too much. Well... Maybe I should take out one of the followins. I'm thinking maybe I should take out one of the followins for the sake of because if we draw nothing but spell cards on the first turn, I think I'm gonna take out one of the followins and I'm gonna throw in another monster, uh, maybe even another beaver warrior. What's another decently strong monster we got? Uh, let's see. Something. The bow might power up. The bow is to power up Spirit of the Harp. Which, by the way... Oh, wait, hold on. Do we have another Spirit of the Harp? How many... We have, like, a lot of spirits, don't we? We have, like, four Spirit of the Harps. I'm throwing in another Spirit of the Harp. Screw it. I don't care. There. Okay, three. We got three. This is gonna be stall the game. <laughs> this is gonna be build a wall the game. Oh, okay. This is it, man. Don't stop at five Ds. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. That's a long way away. I think we calculated that's something like 25 episodes until we reach the end of GX. So we got a while. Actually, no, I think it's 25 sets. Yeah, until the end of GX. I think we. I think I was like Force of the Breaker that I looked at is I think Force of the Breaker was the last set I ever remember actually buying, you know, frequently when it came out uh, when I was growing up, which is, funnily enough, that's actually the one where the Six Samurais debuted, and that's, like, my favorite deck. Oh. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not great. It's not great, but it's what we got. It's all we got. Uh, if we can throw out Actually, wait a second. Hold on a moment. How many Beast Fangs did we get? We've got three Beast Fangs. I'm going to throw more of those in the side. Just because I was thinking too much on Metal Dragon, but Metal Dragon doesn't get a field bonus from anything. Machine Monsters don't get powered up by a field. Flower Wolf gets powered up by Forest. Plus, if we somehow manage to get multiple Beast Fangs. Forest would bring him up to 2,000, plus another 300, 2,300, 20, 2,600. That's not a bad idea. We didn't even get Stop Defense. Oh, Briggs drew Stop Defense. Damn it. <laughs> I'd run six Beaver Warriors if I was allowed to. All right, Briggs is still working on his deck. Save mine. Sort. Is Dueling Book back up yet? If, if Dueling Book is back up, well, we're honestly going to switch to that. Because I, I feel like that would be way easier just to make the deck, and I could just do what I did here all over again. It would, wouldn't take very long. Um, How many people are still watching this? 840. All right, cool. Sorry I cut off Aquamador over on the corner here. 
um, the cards over here. I would I, once again I had this set up for dueling book. Um, let me just double check. Probably not, but I can make sure. Nope, still not up. Oh, dueling book. It's dueling network now. No, it used to be dueling network. Now it's dueling book. Yeah, dueling network was shut down a few years ago, and then dueling book was the new one. Everyone's saying it's dual network now. Oh, dude, if dual network is back, I'll take it. Hold on. Oh, no, it's still up. Is this the same site, though? Whoa. That's okay. Um, wow, this is... Uh, no. I think that's I think that's a different kind of dueling network. That was like giving me stuff for like soccer and shit. Uh that was not the right dueling network, I think. Just wait for dueling book to come back. It's been down for like five hours and we can't be doing this until like ten at night, so We could just wait for another for another day. We we could do that, but when, well, tomorrow we're doing isekai D and D, so we couldn't do it tomorrow. See, that's the thing. It's just kind of like how it goes. All right. Okay, Briggs. What up, brother? All right. Uh... <laughs> I was struggling to get the forty cards because <laughs> cards suck. I'm like, I don't want to oh, add it. Please. I guarantee my cards suck more than yours. Did you get anything decent? Uh, we'll find out when we do. Right, we we go, gotta get yeah. the natural reaction. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Um, so how do you? Uh, I guess we'll figure this out. Do you want to start it, or do you want me to? Uh, I don't know how to use this site. So I, if you're I able haven't to used it in a while. Uh, what's your? Uh, send me your uh, username in the chat, and then I'll uh, send you an okay. invite. See if I can get that to work. Oh man, here we go, everybody. This is happening. I know. Ah, uh, yes, I am trying to I, find where my username is. <laughs> yeah, it's, we, it's fine. I use this site. I didn't even know I still had an account here. I, I, I looked it up as an alternative, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I used this site, like, one time, like, a year and a half ago. I checked on Dueling Book one more time. It's still down. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. All right, cool. Uh, so I will now attempt to send you an invite, and we'll see how that goes. So, all right. Uh, you mind just saying something for the audio so I can adjust it? Hello? Testing, testing. It's time to duel! All right. There we go. I'll play you a little bit louder. All right, custom. I'm going to host a duel. Private game. No ban list. 1v1. Uh, oh, they have master duels set, but I don't think that's really going to involve us too much. Uh, 8,000 life points, blah, blah, blah. One card per draw phase. Um... Because technically we could draw for turn here on the first turn. TCG cards only. All right. Create game. All right. I'm going to choose LOB as my starting deck. Okay. Uh, now, how do I get you in here? <laughs> Hold on. I'll figure this out. I took a little bit longer than normal because so I, I instead of opening up twenty packs, I did them by sets of eight. Oh, that's how but you did it. I just I wanted to reset the RNG just to, just a fun little joke, and then I didn't uh, save. I didn't save uh, eight out of the twenty four, so I had to go horrible. back to my I had to go back to my VOD and be like, "Do I have three of these?" Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. Custom game creator, private game. All right, create game, and then it gives me this. All right, hold on. Let me see if this does something. No, that's... Whoa, okay. Waiting for players, but how do they know to reach your shit? My shit. Maybe next week we just go back to Dueling Book if it's working. Oh, abso oh absolutely. A hundred percent we're going back to Dueling Book. Um, Hell yeah. All right, all right. Now let me try something. He needs the room code. I don't see a room code, though. Unless it's... Wait, hold on a second. 
Yeah. I don't see a room code, but hold on. Dual. You can send uh, the link to Briggs. I'm not seeing a link at all. Dual. Like, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm looking at right now. Like, this is okay. So this is my page right now. I, I don't see anything in terms of like a room code or anything. There's, there's, oh, like, oh, I have to send like an actual link. Just oh, like, the URL. Just the what physical, the, the physical link. All right. Well, I have to start a new room because everybody can see this one now. But. uh so one of my favorite things about progression is our decks are so bad. I have in to week literally one. send him the URL. Okay, shit, we're going old school with this. All right, all right, yeah. fine, that that works. Whatever. All right, let me get a new dual open. So, okay. All right, custom, private, TCG, da -da 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 -da. no ban list. All right, create game. All right, and I'm literally sending you <laughs> the URL here in Discord. I I, I mean I guess that I, if this works. That at least it's that's kind of easier. That's kind of an easier way to do it, honestly. Yeah. All right. I'm okay. I opened the link. It said you were not logged in. Thank you very much. Okay. So there. there you go. You have to log in. Yeah. That did that to me. I tried to save my deck at one point and it was like, un, you're not logged in. I had to go back and open up another thing. <laughs> but this, not even did he say what the, the oh, yeah. Because I, I literally, I titled this live stream the teching and uh, Briggs and Teching's Mystery Project. <laughs> <laughs> oh hey, you're in. Oh, you're in. Cool. I'm in. All right. So whenever you're, I guess, uh, select the deck and then click ready, and then we can start. Oh, okay, cool. All right, all right. This is it. We're dueling. Rock, Holy shit. paper, give, or scissors. Yeah. Give me a oh second. My give God. me a second. I have to start it up. Okay. All right. Here we are. Here we are, guys. Okay. All right. We're dueling. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna go with this. Yeah. I'm just fixing my screen for the all duel. All right. Yeah. This is really out there. But okay. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely going back to Dueling oh, Book next week. Well, I don't have anything against Dueling. If Nexus. he knows anything about Ragnar, I always go rock. Yeah. No! Yeah. He read me like a book. All right. I'm going first. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Uh, can I draw a card for my turn to start? I because this uh, this I think does more rules. Like it actually does it for you. So we're just gonna have oh, to. Okay. We're just gonna have to go ahead with the because it didn't give me a chance to do that anyway. Um. All right. So, first turn. Oh boy, this is fun. I will set a monster. Hopefully, and this music is copyright free. I'm not hearing any music right now. Not on my end. I oh, you go into options. I think you could set it. Yeah. Options. Yeah. Ah, there we go. Okay, hold on. Let me move my thing over here. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. The duel is on. Don't worry. Oh, next... he starts off with a face down. I play one card face down and end my turn. <laughs> oh, God. Well, joke's on you. I do the same oh, thing. Oh, my God. What are the odds? Okay. <laughs> and then... Uh... And I will set the card. Oh, shit. What is it? It's a trap hole, isn't it? It's the only You'll thing it to... could physically be. Um. Oh, I... Well, yeah, I think you have me... to right-click and then... I will not set a card. In okay, that case. gotcha. How do I end my turn? Uh, on the right side of the screen, it'll say EP for end phase. Ah, I see. Okay. All right, here we go. Draw. Draw. Do 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 do. Okay. Uh, well, that first, that first, uh, you know, move was so brilliant. I'm gonna do the exact same thing and end my oh turn. Oh my god. Woo! This is Yu-Gi-Oh! I am so happy. This is great. I, I see. I'm actually... <laughs> I don't have to do this, but now it's just funny. <laughs> yes! At least we're doing stuff as opposed to, like, modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you have to sit around for 15 minutes while everybody plays out their... Dude, we've, done, we, we've done four turns in 35 yeah, seconds. Yeah, we're making speed here. Yeah, They would still be on their first chain. No, yeah, no, no, <laughs> even no joke. Okay. Uh, I still, I'm, I'm going to end. <laughs> I pass. Go ahead. All right, chat. He is not ready. If I know how to do this. He summons the blue eyes, white dragon. I am trying to summon, but I got to do that. I'm in main one, right? Uh, you are in main one. Yes. 
That's another reason why I like Dueling Book. It's just, oh shit, he is. Oh, He's I'm summoning, double. he got the Trihorn Dragon. Oh my God. The double tribute for the Trihorn Dragon. Mm. That's not good. That's it a is a pretty strong card in this format. I can already tell you already did better than me. We move to the battle phase and yes. we start swinging, boys. All right, here we go. You destroyed my Aqua Midor. How dare. Not Aqua Midor. Aqua Midor. He's the coolest out of the 2K defenders, honestly. He just he looks really, really neat. Okay. So that's awesome. I actually did draw an actual Trihorn Dragon out of LOB years ago. I still have it. Really? Yeah, it's a pretty, it's one of the cards I'm really proud of. It's, it's a cool card. He does have three horns. I wish he would become the mascot over Blue Eyes, but sadly it wasn't meant to be. All right. I'm scared he's going for a similar strategy of me as me. Set and tribute. <laughs> uh, well, uh, that's certainly a possibility, Briggs. Oh, I have to end my turn. My apologies. Yeah, you do. It's fine. I thought you were planning something over there, but it's okay. Uh, there's nothing else I can do. All right, draw. Okay. Uh, well, there's actually some stuff I, I can do here, honestly. Uh, first thing is I'm going to set a card. Second thing is I'm going to activate Fisher. I'm going to destroy your Trihorn Dragon. He's got Fisher! Bam! All right. I was praying he had he didn't get a good card like that. Okay. That was which, so much work. There was so much setting involved. How much does that tell us about our, our decks when that was the best card we had? Uh, I'm going to try to... You, you know what? I got to move on to get some damage here. So I'm going to set a card. And then I'm going to... Attack directly oh, no. with Aqua Midor. Because I got to get some some damage in here. All right, here we go. All right, first blood is mine, Briggs. And main two, and I will end. No, oh, 1,200 damage. Damn it. All right. Huh. Well, on the bright side. On the bright side of life. We're going to summon... This dude. Oh, Trial by Nightmare, or Trial of Nightmare. Cool card. And then I will activate Whoa. Dark Energy. That's not good. Okay. That'll give him 300 extra attack. I, I do like that uh, it tells you what... It just it does all that for you. You don't have to worry about the yeah. math. So. It's a little bit easier. Yeah. Um, all right. And then I got to battle phase it up. Yep. Go and ahead start and start swinging, may boys. I may I recommend attacking my face down? <laughs> no. All right. I'm going to take some damage there. All right. And I end my turn. All right. Hmm. I should have um, also done this, chat. I forgot. It's okay. That's, that's the name of the game, honestly. We forget to do a lot of things. Uh, all right. So you got a 1600 trial of nightmare. I think I'm just gonna end. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna oh. wait this. I'm gonna wait this out. I'm gonna see where this is going. I hope that trihorn dragon was. Oh, he's bringing out the yami. Yami, bringing my boy up to 1800. Now, if I play a field spell, the original rules are as it gets overlaid, but I'm not. I don't think it's gonna do that here. So. That's uh, yeah, that's unfortunate. So we just got to do with whatever dueling nexus does because we really don't have an option. Yeah. It's, it's kind of forcing us well, to do whatever. We agreed for current errata of effects. Oh, that's right. So we maybe, did. Maybe yeah. So maybe that would also apply to. So the yeah, field master. Zones. We're just doing current master rules then, because that's like yes. a, that's a master rule thing. Yeah, the field spells. Yeah, we could do that. That's fine. All right. All right. We're gonna Eight. summon Frenzy, Frenzy Panda. Panda. Holy crap! Because I needed a couple more 1200s in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it goes, man. That's how it is. All right. I have a feeling I'm going to be attacking like a Hain Hain or a Man Eater bug here, but we're going to do it anyway. It's a Spirit of the Harp, which actually gets powered down by the Yami Field, but still doesn't get destroyed. He hangs on. I'm hanging on by a thread. That's, All right. That's funny. It gets powered down. <laughs> in that case, I end my turn. All right. All right. Draw. Okay, that's really funny. All right, so I'm actually going to activate Mountain. Ooh, okay. And so do we both have it, or is mine gone? I, I Whatever don't... this website yeah, it's... uses, I guess, for this week. Oh, wait, wait, no. It's giving me a ch an option to chain, but I don't have anything to chain, so I don't want to chain. Okay. Uh, chaining auto, cancel. Manual. Okay, sorry. Uh, and I will set a card face down. Ooh. And... I don't think Mountain did anything here, 
on my side of the field or your side of the field. It didn't destroy nope. your Yami, and it didn't power back up my card, so whatever. Why? Well, both, you're the fairy. Both are active, so that's the rules. So they're both, both are active at the same time. That is weird. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I guess an error occurred. All right, that's weird. That's not good. Uh, shit. Um. Okay, so my my screen froze. <laughs> My screen's also frozen. Oh, God. Okay, this is why Dueling Book is better right here. I think we just discovered yes. the reason. Um, um, can you try clicking end phase? I... No, it's not working. Shit. All right, are we refreshing? Let's try refreshing. Oh, if Hopefully we ref it doesn't it's, it's, kick us out. It's going to kick us out. It's not going to remove... I won! <laughs> like... it oh, instantly... my God. It yeah. just, it's just instantly ended the duel. All Shit. right. All right, so... Duel one is a draw. We go for duel number two. Yeah, that's fine. That's fair. Uh, hold on. Let me check if Steve Dooley books up again one more time. Yeah. <laughs> nope, still down. Why, Dueling Book? Uh, I checked yesterday and it was working. Change. Yeah, I did too. I've been planning this for like three days. I've been doing like, man, I'm going to be ready for this. I'm going to have everything set. And then it had to crash today. All right, let me try that again. This time I'm going to change the master rule. Uh, Master Rules 3. This is the... It doesn't give me anything earlier than Master Rule 3 from 2014. It won't go okay. back to Master Rule 1. We'll go with the earliest Master Rule. So I guess we're going to go earliest with that. So we'll just call that a draw. Hopefully this one... Okay. No ban list. TCG card zone. Four minutes per turn. Uh, One card per draw phase. Just I'm just going through everything just to make sure. Cool. Uh... I'll put this in there. Okay. Create game. We're going to try this again. Let me give you the URL. Chat, I'm just happy to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm just happy to be playing Yu-Gi-Oh too, man. Thank you so much for inviting me for this because yeah. this was a blast. No problem. I know I know you got a busy schedule, but I'm just, I'm just trying to schedule some, some Yu-Gi-Oh with friends. Always have time for Yu-Gi-Oh, man. I changed the master rule to master rule three, guys. For whatever reason, it won't give me anything lower than that. Because technically this would be Master Rule 1, but what are you going to do? That was just a test. This is the true clash. Yes. Uh, did you pick your deck? I think so. Did you click ready? Yes, I could. Oh, I do it again. Okay. Uh, and then you click start, I believe. Press ready. I click and start, but it's not doing anything. <laughs> Uh, you want to just redo this on <laughs> Dueling Book? Uh, God, okay. We can try Prog Project Ignis. Yeah. It was a little, I messaged uh, Jordan, the anime dude, what side he uses for progression, but he didn't get back to me about, uh, until about 10 minutes before we started. 10 minutes before we started. Oh, my God. Um, okay, well, what, maybe we just create a new a new duel real quick. Yeah, let's try that one more time. Uh, let me end that. Just send me another link. Yeah. All right, let's try that again. Oh boy, see that's the thing. Like this deck, this this website's cool because it does a lot of stuff for you. But like, okay, I got my deck selected. I'm giving you the URL. All right, here you go. Do you want this app to make changes to my? What the? Why? Okay, I'm ready. Yeah. Field spells work for both of you. I'm down for that. Yeah, that's fine. And it'll honestly make this this format a little bit more fun rather than us just removing each other's field spell. Yeah. All right. I selected my deck, and I'm ready. Okay, now it's good. All right, here we go. Round two, mm. which is still round one because we drew in the first round. All right, I'm going to go with... Uh. Okay. Uh, You'll never see that coming. You always go with rock. That's the way to go. Honestly, this format it actually might be better to go <laughs> go first. Yeah. Uh, but I, I'm used to clicking second. Do you win first or I'm first? Oh, I'm first. You're first this okay, time. Okay, I'm first. I should... Because we're both setting, Yeah. it might actually be better to go All first. All right, I'm just going to activate Final Flame and burn you for 600 life points. So oh, there my go. God. Take that, Briggs. And then I'll I will considering running Hinotoma. Set a card and I'll end my turn. Well, on the bright side, he's about to see the most powerful card in my deck. Pot of Green! No! Oh my god, you get you did way better. I didn't get anything good. I didn't get any good magic cards. 
Fisher might be uh, the only I, good card I got. I didn't get Fisher. I got Pot of Greed and one other card that's really good. Yeah, I didn't get even good. Pot of Greed or any other card that you're probably thinking of. Unforge. Okay, yeah. I will summon this dude. What do we got? Trial of Nightmare. Activate Dark okay. Energy. Again with that? No, oh, no. That's the strat. That is the strat, yeah. Okay. Battle phase. And attack. Okay. You are attacking in two. Da 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 Pot of greed. What does it do? Yeah, nobody knows what it does. I still don't know what it does. It's just going to glitch out Dueling Nexus if you play it. All right. All right. It's oh. so funny how Legend of Blue Eyes, a normal monster and an equipped spell. My guy's only 1,600 attack. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I have to click your monster. Yeah, you got to attack. It's fine. Uh, okay, so that was my Spirit of the Harp once again. I'm on the harp. I took, I took damage. I'm on the harp strat. I'm already at 7,000. Okay. Okay. And I believe I just had my turn. All right. Solid turn, boy. Solid turn. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I'm going to set another monster. And I'm going to activate Silver Bow and Arrow on my Spirit of the Harp, increasing her defense to 2,300. Well, I just have to wait for Trihorn Dragon. <laughs> yeah, pretty much is the name of the game for you at this point. Okay, well, we could Yami, making my guy a little bit strong. Hold on a second. Uh, no, you go ahead. I'm, I'm doing, a, I'm going to restructure my screen here a little bit. Oh, good. To actually show, I wasn't showing your life points. Right well, there we um, go. That's a little yeah, bit I'm showing better. both. I can make it a little bit better. Yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I feel like that first game was a decent game. It was going good until, you know, it crashed. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Well, I can't. My Yami makes your guy weaker, right? Uh, Yami yes. powers it down to 2,100, yes, but I have silver bow and arrow, so it's 21. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to end my turn. Teching's going to get wrecked, probably. Um. Ah, uh, yes, the pieces are falling in place, <laughs> I guess. Um, end my turn. <laughs> oh, my God. What exciting Yu-Gi-Oh we got going on I'm here. I'm happy with this. I'm happy with this. This is I prefer this over the current Yu-Gi-Oh any day. I summon Yurabi. Yurabi, no! And Oh my god! He's spamming with all of the power-ups. We're powering up, boys. It's a crazy but dinosaur. That's a pretty big dinosaur. It's a pretty big dinosaur for sure. I'm going to attack this guy, but it's all probably right. going to be another Aha! Oh. Same attack and defense, because you powered it down with Yami. All right, at least my guy, at least I didn't take any damage. And no, we end turn. Oh my god, this is the ultimate stalemate. Draw. Okay. Hmm. Pass. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Have they said what you. the mystery project is? Mystery project, we're doing it end. now, baby. We're doing it now. This is the mystery project. Progression series. Um, I think we're aiming for monthly. Uh, we could do it monthly. Or, I, I mean, by month, like twice a month, right? Twice a month, yeah. Or we could do it. I, I kind of want to do it like with dueling book. Maybe next week, if you can. I don't know. We'll, um, we'll, we'll figure dude, I'm it down. We'll I'm, figure I'm a streamer, out. so I oh, just, yeah. like every afternoon, I'm technically around the stream. Yeah. If we could do it next week properly, that would be lovely. All right. I'm down uh, for that. Okay. So. I could do that, but it would be stupid to end. I'm working on a strategy over here, all right? I, I am aiming for something. It's just going to take a while, okay? If you summon well, Trihorn Dragon, I'm kind of screwed, though. I'm kind of just... I don't know why I'm even setting another card, but... Just because you can. Oh my god, this card is a f level 5? Yeah, most, I didn't know that uh, when most, I added it to my deck. Most level fives have like there's level fives that are weaker than level threes. Like it's my it's, level five is thirteen eighty. That's about right. Yeah, that's Reaper. Yeah, thank you for telling me that you had Reaper. Uh, oh my god, he knows I have Reaper. Because okay, it's a uh, card that ends in eighty attack, which is like two true. cards that do that. Yeah. This is a crazy memory, but I'm not. Why am I even surprised with with you? All right, well I'll just I'll just end. Okay, <laughs> I'll just end.
It's it's literally just waiting for a hopefully a tribute monster. Okay. Okay. Everything is going really well, but I'm just gonna play I'm gonna set a card. I'm gonna end. If I could draw one more card, I think I think you're done. Oh my god. Yep. He's going for Exodia. Yep, <laughs> yep. I didn't get any good magic cards, but I actually did end up drawing all five pieces of Exodia. All five? Uh, dude, that would... You just win the progression stage. You beat me with Exodia week one? Yep, week one, I summon Exodia. All right, I'm just ending. Okay, come on, draw. Ah, not what I was looking for, but... Not... Uh, I'll activate Forest. Nice. So, there it is. <laughs> End phase. <laughs> Ooh. What if I do this? Mm. But your guy might get in. I'm just going to see what happens. I don't want to do math. So that powers up a Robbie, but it also powers uh, my cards go back up. Yeah. Yeah. But now my guy has a bigger attack that does nothing. Yeah. Kind of. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the ultimate deadlock. I'll attack this one and lose more life points. Oh, oh, you'd actually... Yeah, because I got forest as the power-up! <laughs> oh, my God. Well, I'll attack again! Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my beaver warrior! Not no. beaver warrior. Did you know the oh, beaver I'm... The beaver actually has a name? Really? Yeah, so that card's original... First of all, it's not a beaver. It's actually a rat. It has a rat tail. And, uh, it's he is actually, such a chadly rat that people mistake him for a beaver. It's actually a woman because her real name is Louise. Her name in Japanese is just Louise. No shit. <laughs> I said a what card in end. Lore? Yep. Yep. That's why I'm here. You bring the cards and I'll bring the lore. <laughs> Make an ancient gear deck. Wow, oh, I wish I could. <laughs> this card sucks, but I'll set it. Yeah, that's 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 basically the general welcome, vibe. Welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh. Welcome to LOB format. Skill has nothing to do with it. It's all about luck. There's no archetypes. There's no meta. There's just I LOB said. format. I said it in, baby. Mm. Okay. Oh, that's actually okay. That's actually not bad. Mm. Set a card and. Hold on here. What do I want to do? Hmm. No end. Card lore. Yeah, I know a decent amount about card lore, so I can at least talk about that. Yep. I'll activate stop defense. Okay. To stop your defense. I gotta think about this. I'm gonna activate two pronged attack. I'm Ooh. going to uh, destroy this monster, and I don't want to, but I'm gonna destroy this monster, and then I'm gonna destroy Yuri Robbie. So let's see how okay. this let's see how this resolves. I think it's not chain. I'm gonna activate this... trap. Okay, so that's how that all that's all that shakes down. Okay, that cleared up the board a bit. And then, still my turn, right? But it's, I'm in my I'm in my battle phase. Can I activate? I can activate a trap in my battle phase, right? Yeah. I could have chained this. You could have. But I, I didn't. I couldn't follow which cards were getting destroyed. There. Yeah. So I'm gonna get rid of this guy and this guy. Okay. For this guy. All right. Not bad. We could have had like a chain link three on an lob format. <laughs> Take 1,600. Ow! Okay, that hurt. Okay. Come on, heart of the cards. I gotta draw some good on this one. Set an end. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um... I really don't like this this website. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Um, But, you know, it, it's gotta do what you gotta do. Um, gotta do what you gotta do. Absolutely. Okay, so... I don't want to waste that. Uh, that wouldn't even work if I did that. Alright. This is all I can do. Go ahead. 
Gotta draw that one card. Always one card short, always one day late. Another dark energy, you fool! Hey, 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 putting me at 1900. Still not enough for your 2000s. Okay. That's true. It certainly isn't. But what are the odds I have any other 2K defenders? I mean, really. Uh, I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> this may be not face down, but probably in your deck. I'll still send it for the... Yeah, just for the potential. yucks. It actually wasn't. It was a Dark World Thorns. True. So. And I will... Uh... Why not Dueling Book? Dueling Book is down, chat. Dueling Book is down currently. We would be there if we could be there. Main two. I will set. Set. All right, I guess not. I have to. No. Okay, I'll tribute. Oh. Well, why? Oh, okay. Can I? Wait. I click. I think I misclicked. Yeah. It won't let. It won't yep. let me. Yep. Oh. It, it sure won't. Oh, cool. Reaper. Nice. I wanted to set it. Or summon in defense mode. You said tribute set. Yeah, well, because it is a flip huh. effect. Sorry, man. Unfortunate. You can't change it. Yeah, see, dueling book, you can manually do all this, so it's no problem. Yeah, you can just, like, any way, midway through the process, you can just cancel what you're doing in dueling book, you know? Yeah, exactly. Uh, that's not bad. All right, end turn. I went Tekken and Briggs can talk in a Yu-Gi-Oh battle. I mean, there's not a lot of high intense action going on on the screen right now, so we can kind of, yeah. Activate Arm Ninja's effect. I could destroy one of your dark energies. Oh shit! <laughs> That's I actually resolved dark. I actually... Take that! I'm Ow! finally hitting him. Oh my god! Ow! That hurts. Okay, I need to come on. I need to draw something good here. All right, I got rid of one of the dark energies. Ooh, ooh, oh. Okay, no, I can make. Oh, no. I can work with this. I can work with this. First, I will activate Mountain. Then I will activate. Well, summon Skull Red Bird, the strongest four-star monster oh, in this entire shit. set. Battle phase. Attack trial of nightmare. Yeah. Damn. All right. Okay. Now we're back in the game. Oh, that works. Okay. Well, that doesn't work. All right. All right. Ready for this, guys? Go. You're not going to see this coming. Defense. Yo, <laughs> defense. Yeah, yeah, defense. Oh, my God. Now I'm hiding. Draw. Yes. Oh, here it comes. My combo. Okay. Oh, no. I will activate polymerization. She's and doing it. Fusing Steel Ogre Grotto 1 and Lesser Dragon to summon the almighty... Metal Dragon! Oh, but it doesn't end there, Briggs. I'm also going to equip Metal Dragon with Machine Conversion Factory, giving him an extra 300 attack. 2150. Woo! And now Woo! I will attack. I will use Skull Red Bird to attack into your Fire Yarrow, and then I will attack Reaper of the Cards with Metal Dragon. Bam! All right. End my not, turn. Not looking good, boys. All right. Oh, we need boy. the draw of a lifetime. All right, we set. Okay. And we end. Now, I still know you have that Trihorn Dragon lurking in there, so, yeah. Uh, I'm going to activate Follow Wind to give Skull Red Bird 300 more attacks. So now I can at least clear 2k defenders. So I'm going to have Skull Red Bird attack into this. And it's a Hane Hane. Hane. Shit. Let's go. Oh, and I will send this bad boy that's back to your hand. probably the worst thing. You, I don't care. At least I got Metal that Dragon was, out. That was some good RNG I got hand. Metal Dragon out. I don't care. That was good on you, though. Oh, man. That's not a bad idea to, to reset the RNG with that, with the, drawing eight cards apiece. I should do that next time. Yeah, I find I get better pulls. So when I do 24, it's either I get amazing cards or absolutely nothing. Yeah. With the eight, at least it's like it's a completely different. Re yeah. That's I mean, fair. it's fair. probably it probably makes no difference just in my head. But. I have no idea. I'd have to check. You'd have to do tests on that, I suppose. Um. Okay. So back to it then, though. Uh. Yeah, um. Hmm. I'm trying to think how to. You know what? Now I'm just gonna keep Skull Red Bird out, and I'm gonna attack into this. Okay, that was a Spirit of the Harp. Get rid of that. Okay. 
Come on. Trying to get rid of at least two of your monsters so you can't tribute for Trihorn. Okay. Set it in, baby. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Oh, awesome. Uh, I will summon Urabi, which gets powered up by your wasteland. So thank you for that. I really appreciate Shit. it. Shit. Uh, and I will attack into your most recent face down. That's Hitatsumi Giant. And then I'll attack into this, which is Frenzied Panda. Okay, now at least we got you out of Trihorn range. Oh. I am out of Trihorn range. And all I could do is set an end at this current time. Okay. Okay, 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 end. okay. Uh, Come on. Not bad. Set. Uh, battle phase, Urabi into this. Uh, oh, you got the... Ooh, that's good. We got a Soldier of Stone. Oh, double Soldier of Stone. I didn't get a single one. They are so cool. And it's at 2,200. With the Wasteland, which the I wasteland. can't hit over yet. Yet being the key word there. But I got to get rid of those things first because you can summon Trihorn now. Unfortunately, I have a feeling my, my Trihorn at the bottom of my deck. Ooh, that's not bad. That's not bad bad but i need to no not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet not yet uh battle phase skull red bird into the face down okay terror the terrible not a big deal all right go ahead briggs come on yeah i used um i didn't have an avatar reviews for the thumbnail so i just used ragnar from one piece dnd so it's basically just like <laughs> william and ragnar dueling <laughs> that's actually we should role play one week we should do that. Oh, dude, we should do that in the next One Piece D and D. That's what Ragnar and William do on their downtime. They just play. They just play Yu Gi Oh <laughs> on the on the ship while everyone else is. I'm know. recovering from my addiction. Yes. Yu Gi Oh. Yeah. 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 I'm just reading a card. My bad. Is this still the first duel? Technically, it's the second, but we had to. The draw was the first because we uh it it crashed. Yeah, and we're we're gonna play the two wins, so we do have to keep going. We have to keep after going. This. Play the two wins, even though these duels are quite long. Got to do it. We have to play a match. That's that's the way the game is played. Yeah. Somebody check on Dueling Book to see if it's up yet. <laughs> All right, I'm activating. Okay. Swords of Revealing Light. Son of a bitch! I knew you were going to get that card! Oh! And then I set an end. I didn't get any good magic cards, dude any good well i guess this one's kind of okay but like i didn't get oh, anything good 600 or 400 oh all right so that's for three turns luckily it'll take care of that counting for me so i can't do anything else so i end oh shit i can't have him destroying it in my monsters chat we need to stall okay. i only have 14 cards in my deck yeah i'm gonna win yeah. first from deck out if you uh if we keep going around this rate it's still down. Crap. Well, hopefully by next week it'll be up. That's not a bad card, but I can't really do much with it. And turn. Come okay. on. Oh, right, that, that was already was... three? Yeah, but that, that 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 I'm not worried about Swords of Revealing Light on this uh game. I'm worried about it much later. Oh, okay. That hmm. Not yet, but setting up for something later. Uh, I can attack now, so might as well try to hit into some other shit and see what we got. Beaver Warrior dead, and Tra Trial by Nightmare dead. Okay. Okay, okay. Come on. Okay, okay. Come on. I set a card. There's a lot of cards in my deck that'll do this. And then my turn. That's not... I thought after you get a certain amount of cards, they get discarded. Seven. Oh, it's seven. Seven at end Eight. turn. Uh, and it would do it automatically. Well, it would tell me to mm -hmm. do it automatically for me. Um, in which case, I'm actually just going to set one here in case that does end up happening. Come on. I have one card I can draw that would really help me out here. Set an end. On, on, and on your turn, I guess I can't do after what chain. It would have, whatever you're trying to do would probably have to be a chain card. Hmm. See, this is the one thing about bad about dueling book. I pick up bad habits. Yeah, that too. This well, game is like, no, if if... this is how you play the game, damn it. Let's go, finally. Okay, I will tribute. Oh, uh, I wonder what you got. All right. 
Here it is. Here it comes. Try Horn Dragon. Oh boy, he's a big boy, and he's powered up by my mountain field too. Thirty fifty. The problem is, what are those face downs? We're going to the battle phase, okay. and we're attacking. That's fine. Let's go. It goes through. All right. Yeah, it does. It does. All right, so I'm at... Oh, I'm not doing too, too good right now. I'm at 20, uh, 2070. And we end. Okay. Uh, all right, well... There's good news and there's bad news here. The good news is I can do this. No! <laughs> the good news is I can do that. I chain... Okay. Two-pronged attack. That's fine. One of these and one of these to destroy probably this. I'll get over your 2,000 eventually, right? Yeah. yeah. In theory. Oh, you picked a Robbie. Okay, okay, cool. No, I didn't. I why I can't pick my card that was... I fucking well, you have to destroy... Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, I bet could it, couldn't I destroy the card that you were destroying? Uh... Oh, no, you could have destroyed my Maneater bug, but that would have not have negated his No, effect. I meant oh. Trihorn. I, couldn't I not have changed, click Trihorn, and... Oh, no, I, I guess not, because it was already going didn't... to be destroyed oh. as soon as he flipped up. I see what you were trying to do. Yeah, I don't think that would have yeah. worked. Well, it, it, since it. it didn't allow us, I guess it doesn't work. Yeah, um, I guess not. All right, well, that's okay, though, because I have another Skull Red Bird. Battle phase. Attack. And my Maneater Bug could get some 450 in there, too. All right. I could have switched Aquamador to attack mode. That was a misplay. I could have gotten some more damage in there. But Looks like I do? canceled it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm too colorblind for this website. <laughs> Are you colorblind? I am, yeah. Uh, I think that, I think actually Dueling Book might even have a colorblind mode. I might be thinking of something else, though. Well, I that might be game, boys. Oh, no. End phase. Okay. Uh, well, we got another Skull Red Bird. Oh my god, is is this it? Oh my god, exact game. Exact game. Whoa. Pecking. All right. I saw Oh, that won. hurts. I somehow won that. <laughs> All right. 1 well. 1 0 teching 101. All right, end duel. <laughs> end duel. You can now close this tab. I think you gotta send me another link. I have to send you another link. Okay. Uh well, you can do side decking. I don't know why it only let wait, hold on. Unfortunately, I feel like I could have apparently chat was saying I could have destroyed my trihorn as one of the two and kept one of my guys defense mode. Oh, I'm an idiot. But... I'm an idiot. I could have set it for match, not dual one v one single, but I'm a moron. Okay. That's uh, okay. We'll just we'll just do another duel then and then yeah, we'll just keep going it that way then. We um, keep going. Okay, so that was insane. I had no right winning that <laughs> at all. She survived. Um, just make sure no ban list TCG cards. So he got a man eater. I got a hain hain. Yeah. Um, the man eater is probably the one good thing I got out of that entire opening. I didn't get any Raigekis, no dark holes, no monster reborns, no swords revealing light. It's pretty. I bad. got pot of greed. And uh, no pot of greeds <laughs> either. It was pretty bad. All right, let me send you the link. Okay. All right, this is it. If I can win this. She takes week one, but it's not over yet, boys. I was pretty confident in our deck on that duel. A I was few not... misclicks, a few misplays I was. Everything. I was not with mine, but we. St I somehow still won. Oh, boy, here it comes. Oh, it's changing it up. No! Let's go. I will go second. All right, you're going second. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, like, not a bad. Just same start with the final flame. Yeah. Get some damage in. Set a card and end. All right. Classic set and end. Yeah, it's dueling Nexus. Pot of greed. Oh. It's a good start every time. Nobody knows what it does, but everyone knows it's good for you. I'm going to set. Okay. Set. Oh, we can't see the... I forgot, to, put, I forgot to put the screen up. Sorry. There it is. <laughs> oh, that's a nice draw. Okay, I'll set that, and I will play... I'm just going to start moving into attack. I'm going to summon Witty Phantom. 
Witty Phantom. He's very witty, and he's a sharp dresser. Oh, Hane Hane. Hmm. Who is more scary? I think we're going to get rid of this guy. Okay. That's fine. You can go ahead and do that. I'm perfectly okay with that. I will end. Now we can see. It's like, I can't see the screen. Now we can. Uh, how many people are in your chat right now, Briggs? We got a, we got a solid 101. Good. I have 734. Damn! Yeah, I don't know why, but they're here. We got watching. the boys watching Yu-Gi-Oh. Yep. I'm gonna set this uh, battle phase, I guess, and attack with Woody Phantom again. Uh, no, I don't want to chain that. Oh, okay. Now you got the spirit of the harps. Defense. Defense. She uses that harp like a shield. All right, boys. We go for the normal summon. Oh, here comes a Robbie. Here we go. The strongest no level four in my deck. Oh, you didn't get any Skull Red Birds. Oh, I don't even know. I did That's, not. Oh, wow. That's okay. Waiting for opponent. No, I don't want to activate that. Okay. Noise. Okay. We're back on it. You're a B. Okay. Coming in clutch. I got Dinosaur. Uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. If I could survive. This is looking good. This is looking promising so far. $50 on Briggs. People are taking bets in the chat, Briggs. Place your bets, place your bets. Um, I feel like I, I click something. I can never unclick. Like, how do I cancel? Yeah, isn't that the question? I mean, there's a cancel button off to the side, but I don't know if that does anything. Oh. All right, I'm going to click and see what happens. All right, yeah, there, there it is. Play. Okay. <laughs> I just realized. I think once I go ahead. Did you get any fusion cards? I did. I just decided not to run them. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, another final flame. Oh my god! It adds up. Yeah. Burn you, burn you for six hundred, please, sir. Ow. Ouch. And I'm just gonna end. I'm I'm comfortable over here. I'm happy where I'm sitting. Set. Oh, my mom's in the chat, I think. Okay. Hi, mom attacking. Mom, she's on, mom, you're on vacation right now. Enjoy Florida. Why are you watching my shit? <laughs> you're watching me play Yu-Gi-Oh. Go out with Jim to the beach or something. <laughs> I'm watching her dog right now. I'm watching Lucy. She's upstairs. She's She is afraid of everything. She is like... She's just starting to warm up to me a little bit, but she's really just a very scared dog. Aww. Yeah. Jeez, All right, I am going to flip summon armed ninja and just hope that this is a spell. Uh, well. It is. No, <laughs> it <crap>. isn't. <laughs> At least I know he's got one of those. But yeah, mom, enjoy Florida. For God's sake, you deserve a vacation. And then I activate this bad boy. Oh, here we go with this shit. I feel like doing that. Oh, that's not good, actually. That's actually pretty bad. Uh, that's... No, that's not going to help me. Let's take... All right, here we go. And then I activate this thing for this. Uh, very descriptive here. Raise body heat on Yurabi. Oh, this is going to hurt. 1,800. I, I need to draw something good or I'm down. Oh, that's not good. And we start swinging. Ow. Okay, I need to draw something really good here. I'll end my turn. Come on, something good. That actually is it. Holy shit, did I just do a destiny draw. Okay. Um, it's actually not as good as it originally was, but I am going to activate polymerization. Oh. And I will summon Flower Wolf. Flower Wolf. With 1800 attack, which is the same attack as your Arabi. And I'm debating whether to crash right now. <laughs> oh, that's tough. I'm crashing. Right, we, got, we got 100 I'm, I'm, on Twitch, I'm, but we got 10 on Kick. I'm crashing. <laughs> I'm crashing. I got to get rid of All it. Right. Cause you I think that was a smart You route. could easily summon a third monster next turn and then crash and then get damage in. I'm not even gonna. I, I ain't nobody got time for that. You know what I mean? Say hi to Landon and Gianna. Hi, Landon and Gianna. 
Nobody knows who those people are. Send in for 1300 and end in my turn. I don't think I've even met Landon and Gianna, but okay. Oh, yes! The Skull Red Bird strat lives again. Damn. Follow wind. All right. What's that put him to? 1850. 1850. All right. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we go. All right. Can't get over your 2K defender quite yet, but one mountain will spruce that up pretty quickly. Set an end. Landon and Gianna. Yeah, they're, um, I'm not, I don't know if I should go through the whole family connection right now, but mom's fiance's grandkids, I think. I love how I'm just like explaining yeah. my, my family tree in the background over here. <laughs> not even family tree, but like, yeah. Ha -ha. Ah, another spirit of the harp. Damn you. Okay. Yeah, they're Jim's grandkids. Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. What am I? Very asking? Uh, exciting duel here. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. I got another skull red bird, which can't oh. really do much, but I'm going to use it to attack into this. I have oh three. Oh, my God. Well, I have three of them, too, so I can't really complain. <laughs> Dude, I did get a lot of 2K defenders, if anything. I got three Aquamadors and three Spirit of the Harps, so I'll take it. Uh, I might lose just from attacking into giant walls. This is progression series. Yes, we're doing a progression series. Hmm. Yeah. I feel like I thought to get rid of some of his monsters. One of his monsters, at least. We can't let him, we can't let him stockpile here, boys. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's not a lot. Well, I it's, can only, it's... I could crash. I could kill one thing. Uh, that's if I let you, which I will. That's true. Which I will. Because I'm a nice guy. We attack. Okay. Ow. Not my witty phantom. He was so witty. All right. And then in main phase two, I will activate Swords of Really Light. I hate you so much. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. It's okay. Okay. And I'll end my turn. Come on, try Horn Dragon. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, that's just coming down the pipeline, I'm sure. Um, all right, I can't do anything, I guess. So your turn, I pass. Want to see Tekking play poker? Oh, God, I have the worst poker face ever. He keeps spilling the secrets. Yeah, I would be over here being like, man, guys, I love this hand. I love having, like, a three of a kind. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, pass. Nothing I can do. Um, I suppose I could just set. I'm kind of just hoping for a uh, Trihard Dragon here. Oh, they're all going to ice cream. That's nice. In other, uh, meanwhile, in Florida. <laughs> How right. long have you known Matt for? Um, well, where, we've been where, doing D and D for at least two, over two years. Where and then, did we first meet? I think it was through Nux, probably. Probably ran cafe with Nux. Yeah. Like I think over through probably around three years ago. Uh, maybe more. I think it might be yeah, 2018, 2019, maybe somewhere around that general ballpark. Do you remember when you started Rant Cafe? Oh, dude, me and Animax started Rant Cafe a long time ago. Like, so like 2016. Uh, it's been at least. The six or seven years wow, now. Wow, cool. We started, we had like a thousand subs on YouTube. <laughs> oh my God. We had one person, two people watching in chat, you yep. know. Yep, that's how my stream started, man. I remember streaming back on Ustream and I had like 20 people Oh in my there, God. Which I kind of miss those days in an, in an extent because then it was fun to like actually talk to only a group of like 10 people. You know, now it's like there's so many people, it's hard to keep up. All right. True. So you're going to, wow, that Terror the Terrible is pretty terrible. All right, you can actually do something here. Um, no. All right, I'll take the damage. At least he can run over me with that. I'm getting what he, uh, yeah, whittled away, whittled away. I'm getting whittled down here, yeah. All right, boys. What he's not expecting is a second Swords of Revealing Light. Briggs, I hate you. Oh <laughs> no, I can't do anything. So yeah, this is what. Oh, that's right, and it negated Hane Hane's effect. Let's go! Damn you! RNG. Oh. RNG. Oh. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, wait. No, it didn't. Oh, no. Oh, oh, it didn't? Oh, I think we're doing it with... No, because the updated effect, I think. Oh. Unforge. Well, I, whatever I, I, the site I, says goes. For whatever I remember, I, I, I seem to remember the first version of Swords uh, did not activate flip effects. But this one apparently does. So... I'm going to bounce Terror the Terrible, because then your your cards will get destroyed. Aha, uh -huh, there Damn. it is. Okay, all right, cool. Damn. No, it didn't. It never did that. I could have sworn swords always negated flip effects. That was a Mandela effect thing for me. I apologize. Well, I said an end anyway. All right, that was just me misremembering then. All right, okay. All right, all right. All right, we're not doing bad. It's just the stalling strat. He's got two swords. Then you throw out the third pair. The third set. Imagine. Oh, shit. Unfortunately, it's got to end. It's We're impossible. down to 19 cards. Uh-huh. I got another final flame! Ow. I, keep, I just keep, like, lighting a match and, like, I keep putting a cigarette out on you. I'm just like, Alright. But you could easily summon Trihorn, but I can't do anything else, so... Uh, all right, and turn. I think swords goes away now. Uh, nope, nope, still going. One more turn. Still, still trucking along. Oh, but I did finally get mountain. So nice. That's good. That boosts them up to 20, 2050. The Skull Red Bird is the meta. Skull Red Bird's always been the meta. I will activate stop defense Oops. on this monster. Um, I will allow that. Go ahead. I will flip summon oh, what this weakling. Frenzied Panda. And we're just going to try to deal some damage to I you. I mean, it'll definitely deal some damage. Bringing him down a bit. I'm getting kind of low end my now. Turn. I'm getting kind of low. Uh... Well, I can attack again, so that's not bad. I'm going to summon Lesser Dragon, which gets the power bonus from the field. And then I will attack Frenzy Panna with Lesser Dragon. Damn. And then I will attack into one of the 2Ks with... Two monsters in one turn. Come on, give me oh, a draw. Boy, here we go, here we go. Give me a draw. Uh, I don't think we're going to draw, man, unless it crashes again. <laughs> Be careful of Florida, man. Yeah, I'm worried about my my mom in Florida. There's some crazy people down there. Oh, here we I go. I'm summoning Try Horn Dragon. Oh my God, what will I do? Uh, he's gonna two pronged me in a second here, but I will attack this guy first. But I will activate Dragon Capture Jar. No way, he has yeah. Dragon Capture Jar. Yeah. Now it also affects my dragon too, which sucks. But like, there it is. Okay. That's so funny. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, well, well, then. I'll enter. I can't believe that worked. Oh, but. Um, all right. I don't so is know. He just, oh, am I just forever in uh, well, defense? Well, did you okay. put remove trap in your deck? No, I put it, and chat was like, he's not going to have any good traps. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what the chat said. Crazy. All right. Uh, we're going to attack into the Spirit of the Harp. Uh, and unfortunately, my Lesser Dragon is also paralyzed. But perfect outplay. This was the OG twist. <laughs> Hmm. Now, you still have it, so it's still a pretty big wall with 2550 defense, but that's such a situational card, and it worked. I know, right? Okay. Uh, that would have been nice a while ago. Um, I mean... Hold on, let me think about this here. Mm. 
I need to calculate something really quick. Just just give me a second. Sounds while. good. Just give me a second while I run some numbers. All right. If I do that, do that, then oh, that's I don't think that's worth it. Uh, I will set another monster, and I will end my turn. There's a couple of things I can do here. Another I'm summon your Ibi. All right, what are you doing? I'm just gonna attack this guy. Uh, that's yeah, that's fine. Go ahead. Destroy my the card I couldn't use anyway. Unfortunately, the dragon capture jar cannot capture dinosaurs. No. Get rid of some of his monsters, I suppose. Haven't they read One Piece? Dragons are dinosaurs. I'm gonna activate another follow wind. No, what's that put him to? Uh, 2350. Still can't boost over that, but I'm also going to summon Silver Fang. I'm going to flip up Hane Hane. No, it's uh, all over, boys. Uh, it might not be, but I'm going to bounce this back. Okay, I'm going to flip these up. Uh, yeah, I'll flip them all up. Battle phase. Destroy Urabi with that. I hope this isn't a 2k defender, because if that kind of screws up my whole strategy. No, it isn't. Okay, good. I don't think this is game, but we're getting close. It's close. And then Hane Hane attacks for that 450, and then there we go. Okay, okay. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, Jim says hello, too. Hi, Jim. I'm playing Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> All right. This is it, Briggs. Are you the protagonist or are you the... <laughs> what do we got? Oh, boy. I'm trying to think of what to do here. <laughs> I think it's his game, boys. It was a good run. I'm going to end off on a bang. We're summoning Beast Warrior. Beaver Warrior. Beaver Warrior, I mean. Ad adding Forest. No. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I had it. I can't set Trihorn chat. You can't. Uh, you could. You would just have to, you know, tribute, tribute to, too. tribute to. Yeah. All right. I think that's GG, boys. It was All a good right. run. All right. And uh, I'll just end it out with uh, Skull Red Bird. I cannot believe I ah. won with this deck. How did I win with this deck? All right. Well, it was just LOB. Things are going to get spicy moving on. Oh, that's what I love about progression. Mm -hmm. It starts off terrible, and then you sl the deck slowly gets better every and single LOB week. LOB is usually... I mean, the LOB is really a big uh, determining factor because if you get Raigeki in LOB, I mean, you're yes. going to be set for a while. Um, so those two swords, are those the only big things you got there? Pot of Greed and two swords. That's it. Okay, at least you didn't get Dark Hole, Raigeki, Monster Reborn. No. I can I can work with two with Swords Revealing Light. It's gonna be hard, but yeah. I can work with it. I have um, what was I gonna say? I have Dark Magician and two Trihorns. Oh, good. Two Trihorns. Jesus Christ! I didn't get anything good. I didn't get Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, Guy of the Fierce Knight, Curse of Dragon. My strongest monster is Metal Dragon. That's that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's all I got. Oh, so, that's funny. But anyway, uh, next, I, I mean, if you want to keep going next week, I'm all for that. I'm um, down. I'm down. I mean, we can just kind of play it by ear. Every yeah, week we'll just yeah, see, every what, week like, when, we'll see when, what we're when doing. When the next Tuesday we're free is, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so next week, uh, hopefully Dueling Book will be back up and we'll be dueling using, it will be uh, Metal Raiders, which is a really yes. good set. We got some really good trap cards in there. Mirror Force, Solomon Judgment. Summon Skulls in that. So hopefully I can grab that. Uh, but yeah, okay. So that was that was the first episode of new progression series. New progression series. I um, I'll probably edit it up and have it up on my YouTube channel by next Tuesday. Perfect. If anyone Lovely. wants like a little bit more condensed version of it, yeah. and can't make it to the stream, um, and yeah, I'm same time next week. Uh, I mean like next Tuesday. I don't think I'm doing anything. Obviously, we couldn't do it Wednesdays when we have Isekai D and D, but um, yeah. Tuesday is my most free day, so it, usually it, around 3 o'clock, I'm you, always free. usually is for me. I don't really do much. I'm actually going to the gym after this. Um, Hell yeah. Yeah. 
trying to get into that at least. He's he's undergoing his Chad formation, boys. Pretty pretty close. I'm only up two days a week. I'm gonna try to make it to three days a week coming up here. Hell yeah! All right, so wait, what's today's date? Today's March. Uh, yeah, next Tuesday I'm a, should work. I'm about yeah. to to play some golf on stream. Oh sweet, go play that golf, man. Yeah, All switch right. sports, baby. Okay. Well, anyway, thanks for uh, inviting me to this, and uh, uh, we'll see what happens next week. Okay. Sounds good. Take care, brother. See you, Briggs. All right, everybody. So that was the first episode of the new Mystery Project, which is a uh, progression series. Uh, it was never about what's in your deck, but how you use it. I am stunned that I won that. I, I really am. Uh, he had two Trihorn Dragons, two Swords Revealing Light, oh, and Pot Agreed, dude. So I started, I'm, I'm the underdog. I would say even though I won, I'm going to say I'm still the underdog here because that Swords Revealing Life, Light, is not going to do much like now, but as we move forward, oh, that is going to be a pain in the ass. Now, here's the thing though. I I don't know if it's in the next set or in Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler, but there's actually an effect monster called Weather Report that actually has a flip effect that negates Swords of Revealing Light specifically. So if we could get that card... I think I might be putting that in my deck. <laughs> oh, man. That's wild. That was so much fun, though. I had a lot of fun doing that. I had way more fun doing that than ever playing modern Yu-Gi-Oh. No offense to anybody that likes modern Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah, but man. But anyway, that was only episode one, ladies and gents. We still got a lot more episodes to go. I don't know how long I'm going to do this. Because, uh, like I said, I, I, I really kind of stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh! after GX. Uh, Force of the Breaker, I think, was the last set I opened. Didn't really care for 5Ds. Didn't watch it. I was just kind of in high school at that point where it wasn't cool to play Yu-Gi-Oh! anymore. And then um, I got back into it briefly when I was in community college. Around 2011, 2012. So, but I didn't play anything, like, competitive, like, ever. I, I just kind of got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! a little bit there. I learned how synchros and XZs worked, and then I got out of it again. And, uh, like, I still am not really well-versed on pendulums or links or anything. So we'll see how it goes. But um, I, I might be just going up to after uh, the end of GX. and uh, But that's that's far in the future. We'll be at least having some really good matches on this for a while. Uh, you know, we'll be at least uh, a good 25-something episodes around there. So uh, that'll be that. Well, anyway, uh, yeah, so Briggs is going to have this up on his channel at some point. That's going to be a thing for him. Uh, please check out One Piece Roleplay. Ooh, I wonder what that is. So um, tomorrow, I'm going to get out that Tashigi video about her family line. And then Wednesday, uh, tomorrow is also Isekai D&D. &D. Uh, so make sure to come check that out over on Rustich's channel at 3 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that'll be fun. And the chapter should be out Thursday. Uh, I don't think there's anything different about this week. So chapter 1078, the review will be out Thursday, like always. So that's what's going on the next couple of days. And the next week, uh, I just searched up Matthew Crawford and it says you're 58. Yeah, there's another Matthew Crawford that's way more famous than me. He's an author. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I, I don't know that much about him, but I know he exists. Anyway, so thank you all guys for watching and the support. Thanks for everybody that showed up uh, to view it. Uh, I'll make a new thumbnail for this because it's, it's the new, uh, it's a new progression series. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching everybody. Teching 101 signing out later all.